Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video Sarah Godden will lead you through a demo of using the Tracker Capture app. Hi, Sarah here from Logical Outcomes. Today we're going to look at testing the DHIS2 Tracker Capture mobile app. In a previous video I installed Ginny Motion on my computer so that I could add phones or tablets for testing and then I installed the app from GitHub. If you missed the first video on event capture, it's a good place to review some of the common issues people experience, like not able to log in, not able to see an org unit or see the program. In this case, we're gonna focus just on tracker capture. So I've installed the app. We're gonna log in when we're online as per usual, and then we can use the app offline if we like. If you're testing on your computer, you can by all means uh, disable the internet feature on your phone to mimic an offline environment. In this case I'm going to stay online the whole time. So I've logged in and I want to choose where this is happening so let's pick a Toronto school and let's pick our program. In this case we only have one. So you'll notice I've got three options here. I can add a new teacher, I can search, and then I can view the list of records. So I shouldn't have anything here yet. This is a new program. So let's start by adding someone. The enrollment date is, let's say it's today, and the incident is also today. We have chosen two attributes that are required at enrollment, the name and the age of the person. I'm going to click the disk icon in the top to save it and go to the next screen. So now I'm in this person's record. Now this is something to be aware of. A person can be in a program as long as they want, and once they're done the program, their enrollment is completed. So it's important during training, when you're doing tracker capture programs, to ensure that your staff know when is the appropriate time to cancel or complete enrollment. If you cancel a person, you can't view their data in the reporting visualizer. So in this case, what we actually want to do is scroll down, and we want to complete an event for this teacher. In this case it's called the teacher workshop. So if I were to click on the disk I can see that the item uh, hasn't been synced yet. That's fine. Once it has um, it'll turn green or a check mark I believe. So I'm going to click once on this actual box here. So this is the the program event. This is why we're here. There's a workshop. The workshop happened today. And part of the workshop we have two questions we need to answer. First, what's the topic of the workshop? And then, did they demonstrate this new technique? So it might not make total sense in context here, but let's just say this is what it is. Now, my event has been completed, so I'll complete the event screen. But what I don't want to do yet is complete the person's enrollment. I want to keep them active. So you'll notice the event box here, it turned green, meaning it's done. But our disk is still orange, meaning it hasn't synced yet. So I'm done here with this person. I want to go back to the main screen. I can see their record and I can see that they're offline. So either I can wait an hour and the app will sync automatically or I can visit settings and sync in which case the status should change to a green check mark if you're online. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 